Can't even kill, right? Okay, you can. 15 XP. And I can get tiny meat. <laughs> tiny meat, that's my nickname. Oh, wait. I think I should turn around. What do you mean? Can't enter this location. <laughs> it's just like. Okay, then show me properly where I have to go if I can't actually get there in my own way, which appears to be a perfectly fine way to get in that general direction. And survived. A doubt took root in my mind. You can push your sure the hand through the lower, day, the lower the lower holes. You can reach further that way. You don't fuck. And yet I failed. What the hell is this glitch? <laughs> what the fuck game? <laughs> ah. <laughs> it looks so goofy like he's trying to move forward, but no, no, mount can't enter this location. As if the mount would give me some significant advantage in the fight. Wait, no, I want to dismount. How do I dismount? Yeah, it's the same button as it is to pick stuff up. That makes sense. Wait, who? I thought the outside door didn't open for anyone. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are clear to proceed. Welcome to the rest Imagine if any time you go through like a fingerprint scanner or something, it gave you this spiel like, Greetings, Mr. This John Stewart or whatever, you are clear to proceed. Welcome to the facility. Uh, and the next guy scans his finger before it's done even uh, talking, and he's like, "Welcome, uh, Miss uh, Katrina, whatever. Welcome to the facility. You are clear to." Pro and then the next guy's already scanning it. Yep, there's the credits. Well then. Um, this game could have been fucking amazing, but it wasn't. The plot was fine, the premise is obviously very unique. They managed to more or less tie it together, plot-wise, sure. Characters were, eh, okay, Aloy was cool couple others like Aaron was kind of interesting there were those two arguing merchants in Meridian those are cool that whatever her father figure was called at the start although none of them were like super spectacular still that that, that, that was fine that wasn't a problem even the side quests weren't terrible I didn't do too many, but they're, they had like little story elements to them. You could discover something else about the uh, setting, the lore, the background, the old ones. That's that sort sort of that sort of stuff. Nah, what made this game fall apart was combat. It was probably workable on uh, PlayStation with a heavy dose of auto-aim, aim assist, whatever you call it, but it was just garbage on PC. It is all based on hitting tiny uh, weak points with a bow on moving targets. The bow part is important because it takes time to draw the bow and there's flight time for the arrows, which is very realistic, but it's also very realistic that it is fucking impossible to hit tiny targets on a moving enemy that's uh, far away from you. And 
you don't want to get in close either, because the melee combat is just useless. You have the fast but zero damage little slap attack, and you have a big whoosh heavy attack, which is somewhat useful, again, especially against smaller enemies, but it's so slow and clunky that the bigger enemies can get like four attacks in during that time, and they only need one to knock you down. Uh, yeah, whereas when you're attacking an enemy, you have to hit the super specific uh, weak spot with your bow, or land a slow-ass heavy attack with your spear. Uh, most of the enemies will do combos of melee attacks, and they're very happy to rush into you. And uh, if they do some kind of leap, for example, they will land like three meters away from you and you will still get hit, you will still get knocked over. Uh, while I was playing on hard, that meant losing uh, about half my health. Sound. So, that's what made me about mid-game change difficulty from hard to just tourist. Because the combat just wasn't enjoyable. I, I, I could eventually grind enemies down. It would take uh, like a 20 arrows to kill one medium-sized uh, machine. The fighting humans was a lot better. It was a lot less of a problem. Um, oh, one more thing. The AI was garbage. Absolute garbage. With the insanely overpowered melee attacks that, that the machines had, any machine that just charged at me and uh, kept attacking would be almost impossible to beat. Uh, so while I was playing on hard, how I beat most of the machines was just basically finding safe spots. There's just places where they can't really go, or places where they won't go, even though the terrain looks like they can. Uh, at at one point, I beat uh, like a, I think it was supposed to be a mini boss, like it was a story mission. It was a pretty big machine. Uh, it was like a circular arena. And there was a kind of drop in one point of it. It was like kind of a ramp going up and then a bit of a drop. But I could go both ways, up and down the drop. Uh, the machine couldn't cross it. So I went to the top, shot at it a bit. Then it, it w made its way around the middle. Then I jumped down, shot at it a bit. It made its way back around the middle and so on until it fell down. It, it, it just felt so garbage. So... Yeah, all aspects of combat are garbage. Ranged, melee, the AI, just throw it all out. So, I guess I would overall rate this game at about 5 out of 10. It, it wasn't terrible, I mean, it's really pretty, but... It, it, just the core gameplay loop didn't didn't work. Probably works better on PlayStation. It had a lot better reviews for that as well. But I played it on PC and that's that's what I got. I didn't get any crashes for what it's worth. Uh, it might be because I'm on a machine that's more powerful than anything that was available when it came out. Uh, but yeah, it just wasn't a problem. Oh well. That does it for Horizon Zero Dawn.